Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. We are at Matt VT's Livingston Quarry in Texas. We have Pingas 379-389. We have the dump truck version of it. And we have Pingas dump trailer that goes along with it. We had we already picked up our first batch of gravel. That's what's on the truck. And now we gotta get it loaded. I believe they have us getting some limestone. And we're taking both of these over to Waco. About three and a half hours game time, not too bad. So let me go ahead and pick up that load and I'll get right back to you. All right, we are loaded up. And yes, it was exactly like I thought. It's limestone. We have 39,683 pounds of limestone. Now, obviously, with some gravel there in the front, the load would be a little bit heavier. But I'll be able to tell as soon as I get going. But if memory serves me correctly, even though we've got stuff in the on the truck, I don't believe that that is configured into the total weight. So that's okay. There we go. That is Zmod's N14 Select. We have a 625 horsepower version of it. And normally I would say that's enough power, but if you guys have seen the quarry coming out of the quarry here in Livingston, um, I don't know if that's enough, to be honest with you. Um, I Not only do I like the 15 speed, especially for cases like this, but... I don't even know if that's going to be enough. It's good to have these low gears and stuff, but... The hill's pretty steep, and to be honest with you, I I was able to climb out once. I may not be able to climb out the first time, I'm going to be completely honest with you. And I can't remember if I just went with a powerful engine and just crawled up in a low gear, or whether I just slammed it and just hung onto the momentum. I don't know. I'm going to try to do it a little bit realistic. Good thing I've got these five low gears with the uh, 15 speed, so we're going to just try to get out this way. This little part of the hill isn't that bad. Uh-oh, we already hit a snag. We're not even in gear, that's why. Are you kidding me? Oh. We should be able to... Okay. The, uh... My fault. User error. The... The, uh... The, uh... Low gears weren't taking effect because I had the... I had it configured into the upper range. Deep reduction 2 here. transition into those highway gears and see what I can do. I'm going to try to just keep some momentum. Not really carrying much momentum. Let's see what happens if I just keep it low. Oh, got some damage there. Oh no, that's not going to be good enough. Ah, oh, man. Nope. And that's going to break the trailer. Alright, I'm going to reset, guys. Okay, so... I do have a drive planned. Why do I have a feeling this is going to turn into a game of how do we get up the hill? I think I'm going to need some... I'm just going to need some pure raw momentum here. Oh, 
Well, so much for momentum. Not doing a great job here. Come on, get up there, get up there, get up there! Really? 625 horsepower, can't pull it out with low gears. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna restart it again. Alright, we are back down at the bottom. Right where we originally picked up. I'm gonna try no low gears and just try to build some momentum with those highway gears. Got a little bit of momentum. I think I'm going to just keep it here. Let's go back for fourth. Stick over to this side, maybe. Maybe that matters. Maybe that matters. Come on, pull it out with deep reduced one. Am I just losing? See, I just don't have traction. It's like, it's just the way the hill was built. <laughs> I'm just off the ground. I think it's just too steep to pull up. Okay, we're going to try highway gears again. I think I lost a lot of momentum when I tried to pull it into fifth. And it looks like, when it comes to hills, my weakness for floating. So we're double clutching now. Double clutching and we'll go up as far as fourth. We're just going to keep it right here. I don't know if going up the right side is any easier than the left. Momentum, momentum. Back to first, back to first. See, it's just not possible. It's, it's not possible. <laughs> oh, man. All right, I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to try one more thing, and then we're just going to get on out of here but this is how hard this quarry is okay I really wanted this to be a little bit more interesting a little bit more uh, doable apparently the 625 horsepower did not work out so we have gone to an 800 horsepower version of this N14 select to get momentum up there. We just got it pegged right there. Probably get some more damage on the truck, but we are just maxed out. We got it. If we get over here, go back to first. We're up over this first hill. I'm going to keep it in fourth. I'm not going any higher. I don't think we're going to make it though. I don't think we have enough momentum. So there you have it. 800 horsepower Look at that hill. It just... Can anyone get up this? Can anyone get up this hill? Because I can't... Anyway, we have a drive. Let's pretend that we actually made it out. Drop us down right there. And let's get on with our day.
I'm a little annoyed. I'm a little annoyed. Even on that little incline, I had to use deep reduction. Which way are we going? Are we going right? Yeah. Get into our highway gears. Now I'm paranoid on any hill. Let's just drop it down. I don't know what's going on here. This is a kind of a steep hill too. But you know what? All the all the tires are touching. And it seems to be doing we're still moving. So I'm just gonna keep it right here. Normally I think you'd put it into a deep reduction gear. I'm afraid if I take it out of gear I'm gonna lose that traction. Wow. Whoa. Whoa, come on. Even that. These hills are no joke. Yeah, Steve Pill. Should have just watched for the sign. Back to highway. That thing uh, goes up pretty quick. I knew that. So I could not do it. I wonder if Wade is simulated on the truck now. I gotta ask Pinga. If you guys know how to beat that hill, tell me. Is Do I have to go up on a certain side? Do I need a thousand horsepower? Do I just need to be carrying less weight? What's the story? Because it would be nice to realistically crawl out of there. And by the way, if it could be user error, I am absolutely willing to say that it could be user error. I am not a real truck driver, so tell me what is happening with that hill. And if people just are able to crawl out of it, and what I'm doing wrong. Just a little over three hours game time. Let's take a look on the outside of the truck. Gravel in the front, limestone in the back. Not the best depiction of a load, but hey, it's cool. It's a dump truck. I think dump trucks are really cool. Um, you know, and look at that. It just wouldn't turn. It just, it's not reacting. Is it? Okay, so am I doing something wrong here? But the thing just wouldn't turn. It wasn't reacting. It was happening a little bit as I was going up those, uh, right as I was pulling up out of the quarry, those first couple turns. But I didn't really think much about it because I thought maybe it was the weight, but I don't know. It's just not responding when I go to turn. Maybe I'm just trying to turn too fast. Take out that truck by accident. I'm not paying attention. And I just also noticed that I'm sitting like on the windowsill. Why am I doing that? It still looks like I'm sitting on the window seat. Alright. I haven't driven this truck in quite a while. Turn right. You can definitely feel the difference that you're driving something 800 horsepower. Taking the on-ramps like nothing, especially compared to that quarry. Alright, so, made it to the highway. Keep right. After 50 yards, exit right 
making it off the freeway. Really? <laughs> one, uh, one stop? Wow. Wow. Let's get the Jake on. Jake. We got a wrecker. That's probably what I would have needed to get out of that quarry. So I do want to thank you guys. There was a lot of people that commented on my last video when I was talking about my uh, two stick project and I got a lot of good feedback. Um, people say they've got some two stick setups they've seen some good ones online they're interested to see uh, what's going on so a little update on that I do have the second shifter just the shifter base it's just a Logitech just like my first one um, the actual shifting knob which is gonna be the old school like 13 speed with an air valve for the range that is probably going to be here, I'm um, thinking probably mid next week is what I'm hoping. End of next week is probably the longest that it'll take. And at that point, um, so I'm not worried too much on how it's actually going to look. But I do have, I got some pretty good ideas. I was on the Discord for uh, Ride Along With Goggles. And uh, a guy on there, Dan, which is Dan55, he was telling me that he has a good uh, two stick set up and he was showing me some ideas for what I could do. And he built a little base so you don't actually have to mount on the floor, you just do it out of two by fours. So, a few uh, really good ideas that I am going to have to borrow. So thanks to Dan for that. Um, yeah, first thing is once I, I I have the two sticks right now and I've already started some of the coding for it. And basically, you just have to go into the uh, the controls.sii file and you have to rework how everything is programmed because everything's programmed for one stick. Once I get that configured so the two sticks actually work, let's say if I was going to do like a spicer transmission where they both have to be um, what choreographed so that they go in simultaneously. Once I get all that figured out and it's working, then I'll start working on. By then, I'll probably have the all the the hardware, and I'll start setting it up to see if I can get a good style. I still don't know if I'm going to mount it to the floor, but I'm absolutely thinking about it, and. Some of it I just don't know because once I get the second stick, if I'm going to reach it and it's going to be on the floor, it's got to be really long. But then is the throw going to interfere with my other shifter? That's what I don't know yet. Um, and I could always go to go back to using this one that, that I'm using right now, this Eaton Fuller one, or the new, um, the new old style 13 speed. I could use that. Um, as my primary and just use it without an extension if it's going to be in the way but yeah some of those things I just don't know I'll have to wait to see what it looks like this guy's killing me I'm trying to get over here buddy I gave him time and he kind of committed then he stopped how are we doing on fuel I did not check that oh we're yeah we should be okay a little over a quarter of a tank right now. And so once I get everything figured out with the with the programming, I am going to be sharing that with you guys for everyone who wants to uh, be able to have this twin stick set up. I'm probably going to do it. I don't I don't know if they made this, but because of the number of um, assignments that they allow you in the controls.sii file 
which is a max of 16. I think I'm going to try a 5-3 first. So main transmission 5, uh, auxiliary 3, just so I can... Because I 15 forward gears and I'll need the 16th spot for reverse. But once I get that figured out, I'll pass it along to you guys. If you guys happen to have a spare uh, stick laying around, if you guys want to try it out. But I will tell you, um, obviously for those who haven't done it before, you're going to have to figure out some sort of configuration for how you mount them. And that's going on the floor, or it's going to be an extension to your existing... Like, like mine right now, it's kind of attached to my whole rack where my steering wheel is. And it's just big enough for one shifter. So I've kind of had to build an extension on it in the meantime, mainly for testing. Um, also keep in mind that whenever you don't want to use that setup, you're going to have to take your old controls files uh, that's used how you normally would do it for one stick, and you'll have to put that back in. So that's something you're going to have to swap every time you do it. And of course, you're going to have a gearbox layout file to show you what the actual formation of it is so the game knows when you move it there, that's what gear it is. Um, and that's very simple. I can send that over to you and all. essentially all you're going to be doing is selecting from the drop down, just like you would normally select a 10 or a 13 or a 15 speed, your options in game. One of them will be an option for uh, a spicer. But I will let you know on the progress for right now. I have a feeling pretty soon, in the next couple minutes, they're going to be telling us that the customer is anxious for the order. I think this one's going to be late. I don't remember if it was an urgent job or what, but we spent a lot of time trying to get out of the quarry. So getting there on time is going to be a little challenging. The skin on here is just a default. It was came with Pinga's truck. Uh, the dump trailer, in case you guys didn't know, comes separately. Uh, you have to buy it from Pinga. It, so it's a separate purchase from his truck, and it only works with his truck. Currently, he still does not have it um, set up so that... Oh, God, I'm going to die. Um, he currently does not have it set up so that the all the skins that come with the truck, which are a lot of them, they do not carry over into the trailer, which is a little weird considering... You can't use this trailer for anything but this truck. But hopefully that's something that he'll be working on. And we're just about maxed here. We're not really built for speed. And that here, there, that's the other thing. Um, the ratios on this, original ratio, even when I was down in um, Deep Reduction 1, that's a 16.4 ratio. And I have a, I believe it's a 3.9 differential. That is not, that is not a transmission setup for speed, like at all. It's meant for maximum torque. But again, I think it's just the contours of that hill. I think it's just meant so that once you get to that point, you can't have an, uh, an, enough wheels on the ground, basically, and you just you just run out. But maybe I'm wrong. Someone tell me how to attack it. Alright, so I'm going to go do a little bit of... Uh, see, they're already waiting for it. I don't know if we're going to make it. We have over an hour still, and there's any traffic like within the city. Ooh, it's going to be close. Let me get, uh, get some exterior stuff for you, and I'll join you when we're about to deliver. All right, guys, we are pulling in here in just a few minutes, just about five minutes. Should be there about 5.30, and it's raining. It's just not turning. It's not turning. I don't know what to do about that. Is that a glitch with the game? Is I... I don't know if it's the truck. I've been in another truck that does that, and I don't know why it does that, but at sometimes at fast speeds and sometimes at slow speeds, you turn and it just it just doesn't move, 
and it delays about two or three seconds and then it finally starts to move over so you have to predict when it's going to start making that move and counter it. It's so weird. I don't really understand. Is it when I'm making too sharp of a turn or what? I don't know. Coming into the yard here. Get those windows down. Maybe not all the way since it's raining. Coca-Cola plant over there. Curious to know what's going on. If it starts slipping on me again, I kind of want to see if I can switch to the outside view. Like, are the tires turning, or is it some... is it some physics thing? We seem to be turning pretty good there. See, I'm turning sharp. It didn't turn and then it like kicks in at the last minute. I don't know how to describe it. It's not, doesn't feel like anything else. Maybe I'm just trying to turn too fast with too much weight. Is that a thing? Get our four ways on in the yard. There we go. Well, a little bit longer of a drive than I thought. The drive itself wasn't bad. It was the seven attempts up that hill coming out of the quarry. Um, let me know if you have a fix to that, if you know how to get out of that hill with a lot of weight. Again, it said 39,000 pounds on here. I don't know if it's simulated on there. I don't think it's weight. I think it's just the contour of the hill and the fact that once you get up there, unless you're going like... 30 miles an hour, which isn't going to happen, not after that first curve out of the quarry, um, then you just don't have the momentum. I have, I don't have any other explanation. I tried going up on the left or the right, but if you know, go ahead and let me, uh, let me know. Thumbs up if you liked the video, if you found it was at least a little entertaining, although frustrating to watch me trying to get up that hill. Uh, hit the subscription and uh, notification bell so you can see all of my uh, videos watch me struggle up the hills and stuff it was fun uh just wanted to give that a shot wanted to try to keep it real too i make mistakes i can't i can't uh, navigate all of these roads i can't drive all these trucks not to the ability that i would like to but i try and hopefully i learn so if you have the same problems i can tell you what's going on anyway thanks for uh riding along today and i will see you guys on the next one take care